the numerator of a fraction is four less the, than the denominator. This sum is about fractions and you know every fraction is made up of a numerator and a denominator. So let us first start the sum by, by assuming the numerator to be x and the denominator to be y. So let the numerator be x and a denominator be y. Now here they said the numerator is 4 less than the denominator. So numerator is 4 less means minus 4 than the denominator. If you were putting it in uh, mathematical form, we know numerator is x. So x is denominator minus 4. Denominator is y. So that is y minus 4. So x minus y equal to minus 4. This is equation 1. Now we go ahead and do the next equation. Now the next equation says if the numerator is decreased by 2. So let's decrease the de numerator by 2. We know the numerator is x and we decrease it by 2. So this is now the new numerator and the denominator is increased by 1. Here we have the denominator and it is increased by 1. So this is the new denominator. Then the denominator is 8 times the numerator. So after doing this the denominator now becomes 8 times the numerator. Let's put it in a different color. So denominator becomes 8 times the numerator. Now what is the denominator? We see the denominator is y plus 1. So this is y plus 1 equal to 8 times numerator that is x minus 2. You open the bracket y plus 1 equal to 8x minus 16. We bring all the x and y terms on one side. So we have minus 8x plus y equal to minus 17. So this is equation now 2. Now we need to solve both these equations. So here we will now add equation 1 and 2. We don't need to change signs when we say add x minus y equal to minus 4. That is equation 1. And then we have minus 8x plus y equal to minus 17. And this is equation 2. Plus minus cancels. So you have minus 7x equal to minus 21. So minus 7x equal to minus 21. x equal to minus 21 over minus 7. So x equal to 3. Now that we have found x, it's time to find y. So we have x equal to 3. To find y, we say substitute x equal to 3 in any one equation. We'll take up the equation x minus y equal to minus 4. This was the equation 1. And wherever there is x here, I will put 3. equal to minus 4. So minus y equal to minus 3. So y equal to 3. Now our fraction we know is numerator over denominator. This would be, this is not right what I have done here. This would be 7. This is minus 4 minus 3 and that is minus 7. So y equal to 7. So we know the fraction is numerator over denominator. x was 3 and y was 7. So this is our answer. 3 over 7. Now here again we are dealing with fractions. So let us start by taking numerator as x and denominator as y. So we have let numerator be x and the denominator 
by. Now we'll follow the the directions of the sum. A fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added both to the numerator and the denominator. So here we take up the numerator, we add 2 and then we take up the denominator also add 2 and then the fraction becomes 9 by 11. So this is 9 over 11. We will cross multiply. So we have 11 x plus 2 equal to 9 y plus 2. Open the bracket 11x plus 22. 9 into y is 9y plus 18. Bring all the x and y terms together. So 11x, this I'll take on the other side, minus 9y. And here is 18, 22 on the other side, so minus 22. So we have 11x minus 9y equal to minus 4. And this is my equation 1. In the second part, here it's given if 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. So I have the numerator and I'm going to add 3. This is the denominator, I'm adding 3. And the fraction now becomes 5 by 6. Cross multiply, so 6 x plus 3 equal to 5 y plus 3. We open the bracket, 6x plus 18, 5y plus 15. Bring all the x and y terms together, we have 6x, 5y on the other side is minus 5y, 15 minus 18. So we have 6x minus 5y equal to minus 3. So this is our equation 2. Now we need to equate the coefficient. If you see up here, this is 11 and this is 6. So we need to make them 66. So we'll take up equation 1 and multiply it by 6. So we have equation 1, which is 11x minus 9y equal to minus 6 and I'm going to multiply this equation by 6. So I'll get 66x minus 54y equal to, here's a mistake, this should be minus 4 and uh, this would now be multiplied by 6 so minus 24. I'll call this equation 3. Now when you take up uh, equation uh, 2 and this equation 2, I, here is 6, I have to make it 66. So I am going to multiply this equation by 11. So we have 6x minus 5y equal to uh, minus 3 and I will multiply this now by 11. And when I multiply this by 11, I will get 66x minus 55y equal to minus 33. This is equation 4. So we take up equation 3 and 4. This was one equation, we call it 3. And the other equation we had was 66x minus 55y equal to minus 33. This was equation 4. Now here you see we need to change signs, so we subtract, if we need to change signs, we write subtract, subtract equation 4 from 3. So we have to write equation 3 first, 66x minus 54y equal to minus 24 and now write equation 4 that is 66x minus 55y equal to minus 33. Now we need to change the sign because we are subtracting. So the plus becomes minus, the minus becomes plus, the minus becomes plus. This cancels out. So here you have plus y equal to plus 9. So y equals 9. Now after we found y, we now have to find x. To find x, we put y equal to 9 in any one of the equations. See, we'll take up equation 11x minus 9y 
equal to minus 4. So 11x minus 9 for y I am putting 9 equal to minus 4. So we have 11x minus 81 equal to minus 4. So 11x equal to minus 4 plus 81. 11x equal to plus 77. So x equal to 77 over 11 and uh, x equal to 7. Now the fraction, the question is to find the fraction which is numerator x over denominator y. We see that our x is 7 and uh, y is 9, so 7 over 9. Now for the next sum, so we start with uh, let numerator be x and denominator be y. In the first part they say if we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator. So let's do that. Add 1 to the numerator. So x plus 1 and subtract 1 from the denominator. So y minus 1. The fraction becomes 1. So equals to 1. So cross multiply. So we have x plus 1 equal to 1 into y minus 1. So x plus 1 equal to y minus 1. x minus y equal to minus 2. And this is our equation 1. Now the second part is it becomes half if we only add 1 to the numerator. So we have the denominator here to the numerator. We are going to not change the numerator because nothing is mentioned about the numerator. But denominator we need to add 1 and now it becomes 1 by 2. Cross multiply. We bring all the x and y terms together here. So this is our second equation. Now we need to solve both these equations. So for this we will subtract 1 say from 2 or you can do 2 from 1, 1 from 2. So we write 2 first and then we write 1. Remember we are subtracting so we need to change our sign. This cancels out so you have x equal to 3. Now it's time to find y. So this is x equal to 3. To find y we substitute x equal to 3 in any one of the equations. Say we take up x minus y equal to minus 2. So 3 minus y equal to minus 2. Minus y is minus 2 minus 3. So minus y minus 5. So y equal to 5. Now for the fraction, the fraction is made up of numerator x, denominator y. And we see that here is x is 3 and y is 5. So this is our fraction. This again is the sum of the numerator and denominator. So let's start by taking numerator says x and the denominator is y. The first part of the sum says if 3 is added to the denominator. So let's add 3 to the denominator. We know denominator is y. So we have y plus 3. And 2 is subtracted from the numerator. Numerator is x minus 2. The fraction becomes 1 by 4. So equals 1 by 4. 
let's cross multiply 4 x minus 2 equal to y plus 3 open the bracket 4x minus 8 equal to y plus 3 take all the x terms and y terms together so we have 4x minus y equal to 11 so this is say equation we call it equation 1 let's get on to the next in the next part they say when 6 is added to the numerator so here is my numerator x and I add 6 to it and the denominator is multiplied by 3 so denominator was y and I multiply it by 3 it becomes 2 by 3 equals 2 by 3 cross multiply 3 x by 6 on this side 2 3y open the bracket 3x plus 18 equal to 6y bring the x term this y term on the other side so we have 3x minus 6y equal to minus 18 I will take 3 common out so we have x minus 2y equal to minus 9 and this we write it as equation 2 Now we take up, if you examine the equations, we will see we need to multiply equation 1 by 2. So we have 4x minus y equal to 11, that's equation 1, and we'll multiply it by 2. And on multiplying by 2, we get 8x minus 2y equal to 22. We'll call this equation 3. So we have two equations here, this is one equation and then uh, we have the other equation that is uh, x minus 2y equal to minus 9. Now we are going to change the sign of this equation, this becomes plus, this becomes plus. If we are changing the sign, what we have done, we have subtracted the equations. This will cancel. Here we have 7x equal to. Here I made a mistake. This should be, I think, 6. So I'll get here now 7x equal to 28. So x is 28 over 7. So x is equal to 4. Now to find y, we'll say uh, substitute x equal to 4 in any one of the equations. Maybe we take up the equation x minus 2y equal to minus 6. Wherever there is x, I will put 4. So we have minus 2y equal to minus 6 minus 4, minus 2y minus 10, y equal to 5. Now the fraction we know is x over y. Our x is 4 and our y is 5. So the fraction is 4 over 5. Now for the second sum, let us start off the sum by saying numerator, let the numerator be x and the denominator be y. In the first part they said the sum of the numerator and denominator of the fraction. So that means x plus y, sum of numerator and denominator is 4 more than twice the numerator, 4 more than twice numerator, which means x plus y equal to 4 plus 2x. We take all x on one side. So this 2x goes on the other side, becomes minus 2x equal to 4. So we have minus x plus y equal to 4. So this is one equation. Now 
Now the second part says if the numerator and denominator increase by 3. So let's do that. Numerator increase by 3. Denominator increase by 3. They are in a ratio 2 is to 3. Which means when you divide them, the ratio becomes 2 over 3. Now cross multiply. 3x plus 3. 2y plus 3. Open the bracket. 3x plus 9 equal to 2y plus 6. Bring all the x and y terms together. So you here you have 6 minus 9. So you have 3x minus 2y equal to minus 3. We call this as equation 2. We need to equate the equation. So if you look very carefully, we need to multiply equation 1. Equation 1, we are going to multiply it by 2. On multiplying equation 1 by 2, equation 1 is minus x plus y equal to 4. And you multiply this equation by 2. So you get minus 2x plus 2y equal to 8. We will call this equation 3. So here is one equation and we will write the other equation below. Here we are adding because we do not need to change the sign. This cancels as it is. So we add the equations. So we will have here 1x equal to 5. So x equal to 5. Now to find y we substitute x equal to 5 in any one of the equations. So let's take up say the equation minus x plus y equal to 4. We'll put uh, here, we'll put x equal to 5. So minus 5 plus y equal to 4. So we got y equal to 9. So we know our fraction is x over y, numerator over denominator. The numerator is 5, so this is 5, and the denominator is 9. So this is our given fraction, 5 over 9. The sum of the numerator and denominator for fraction is 3 less than twice the denominator. So we take numerator, say equal to x, and uh, denominator equal to y. The first part says the sum of numerator and denominator of the fraction. That means denominator, numerator plus denominator is 3 less than twice the denominator is uh, 3 less means minus 3 then twice the denominator. Uh, let's put the variable so x plus y 2 denominator 2y minus 3 which means now x plus y minus 2y equal to minus 3. So x minus y equal to minus 3. So this is one equation. Now for the second part, here if the numerator and denominator decrease by 1, so we take the numerator, we decrease it by 1 and we take the denominator and also decrease it by 1. It's decreased, so we've done this wrong, do it again. So I have the numerator, I decrease it by 1, so x minus 1. And the denominator also decreased by 1, minus 1. Now the numerator becomes half the denominator. So it's given numerator becomes half denominator. So let's put the values, x minus 1 equal to 1 by 2, y minus 1. Cross multiply. 2x minus 2 equal to y minus 1. 
So 2x minus y equal to plus 1. This is equation 2. So now we take up both equations. So this is one equation and the other one is 2x minus y equal to plus 1. We change the sign. So it becomes minus here plus here minus. This will cancel. Minus x equal to minus 4. So x equal to 4. Now we go ahead and find y. To find y we say put x equal to 4 in any one equation. Say in equation x minus y equal to minus 3. That is 4 minus y minus 3. So minus y equal to minus 3 minus 4 minus y minus 7 y equal to 7. Now for the fraction. We know the fraction is made up of the numerator which we took x and denominator we took y. The x we found out as 4 and y we found out as 7. So the given fraction is 4 over 7.